Hello, this is Haka the Bean, and I am here with SCP-6820, also known as Termination Attempt. This one's a long one, and I, and I hope that you enjoy this. If you do enjoy this, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. No, from the Records and Information Security Administration. The following documents were received from Alternate Timeline AU6820, per Statement 3.1 of the 1981 Volta I Foundation Coalition Agreement, which stipulates that in the case of irreparable XK class event or similar, relevant files should be autonomously disseminated to all other assignees for cautionary purposes. File 1 of 2. SCP-6820 Level 4 Secret Containment Class Domiol Secondary Class Dry Only Disruption Class Eki Risk Class Caution Assigned Sites Site 01, Site 02, and Site 19 Project Leads 058 Foundation Special Product Advisor, and Director Gears. Research here, Eds, Director Gears, and Various. Assigned Departments, Various. Including but not limited to AIED, Esophysics, Mathematics, Metaphysics, Noosphere, Erx, Autokinetics, right. Scientists, temporal anomalies, nanobiology, and the acroomatic abatement applied uh, occultism, memetics, and countermeasurements in quantum supermechanics in sections site 43. Special containment procedures. All files pertaining to Project Anti Kill are to reviewed and analyzed by its assigned personnel and conjunction with the Records and Information Security Administration, the Internal Security Department, and Overseer or Council. Dragioni class objects are under official investigation and an authentication by the Overseer Council. The following points of interest are under investigation. The nature of SCP-682-A, the modes for irreversible and unnecessary Decommissioning of SCP-682A in opposition to standard protocol. The most for sizable monetary and diplomatic resources spent in pursuit of neutralization of SCP-682A. The most for the formation decades long operation of Project Anticule. The most for the universal and unconditional hatred of SCP-682A. <sighs> Description. SCP-682 is a highly classified advanced and eigenweapon located within Anti-Kill Facility A1, a AKF-1. A subterranean security facility beneath Secure Administration Site-01. This weapon is a culmination of Project Anti-Kill, a high-priority operation conducted with the express purpose of irreversal universal neutralization of SCP-682. 6820A. The project was initiated in January 1968 and operated continuously until the activation of SCP-6820 on guessing May 8, 2021, whereupon a CK class reality restructuring event retroactively erased SCP-6820A. 680, and its no spheric content from conscious existence. SCP-6820 has remained operational since, and its preliminary investigation thus far presents no clear method of deactivation. SCP-6820-EA was an object, entity, phenomenal or other item, anomalous or otherwise, successfully neutralized from existence via completion and activation of SCP-6820. 
The only extent of record of its conceptual reduction is likely stored and accessible within an, an SCP-6820. Research is ongoing. Addendum 6821 Pre-Proposal Conference Bill Grant Transcript Anti-Kill 2C61 Date June 6, 2006 Parties Present Project Advisor 058 Project Director Er... Er... C. Gears Master Paratechnician and Place H. M. D. Ph. D. As a Physics Director H. Genevieve Forward Director Genevieve got an informational conference following that day's conclusion of Project Anti-Kill Activities hoping to include, introduce parties present to engage the feasibility of a plan of, the, of her own. <sighs> oh yeah, for those of you watching, please do make your guesses of what SCP-6820-A is. It will be revealed at the end of this document. The four are seated at a black desk within the Site-19's administrative offices. And you didn't think to notify the scheduling algorithm. I'm sure you're aware I have other projects to oversee. My apologies, advisor. It was only a few hours ago that the idea was proposed. Respectfully, this project takes precedence. Yes, but this meeting does not. Unless you've just solved our longest standing containment crisis. Phew. Eight optimists. It sucks today. Does he need to be here? Are we trying to delay this meeting? Silence on recording. I thought not. Uh, now, Overseer, I'm aware you've seen tens of thousands of termination attempts on blank, and I, of course, know their collective success rate. Your skepticism is warranted. Please hear me in earnest. Over well, eight nods. I direct the Esophysics Department. Which you all know well is concerned with embodiment, manifestations of concepts within reality. An embodiment of the concept red would carry on a characteristics conceptually associated with that color, such as being angry or desirable or, or malevolent. This is a simplified method of conceptualizing what's actually going on here. A tangible object or entity embodies a mimetic structure within the noosphere by conforming to its idealistic, idiotic shape. PHMD nods along. O5, I've, 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 eight and director gear shares a glance of uh, confusion. Simply put, an embodiment is a physical item that's shaped like an idea, and given the progression of human intelligence and development over time, that shape can change. This means that if the esophysical nature of an entity is not readily apparent, it is certain by Ken's parent that entities change over time to changes in human conception and idiotic space. A correlation of a certainty indicates causation. <sighs> So, I'm assuming your department has observed such a correlation in Blank's case? Correct. You must know you're not the first to suggest this. Whether or not Blank's a conceptual entity has no impact on the success of the project. If that were true, she wouldn't have caught a meeting. Of 5-8's mouth opens and closes again. They motion for direct Genevieve to continue. Blank has grown increasingly blank and blank to contain and termination efforts over time, corresponding with the growth of the human intellectual capacity. Whether concept blank whatever concept blank embodies is extremely complex and is so large that it can only partially intersect with the noosphere. And if it's not native to human thought, it can be removed without risk. As far as we understand it, just so I understand, or we'll remove blank from human thought, thereby making everyone forget about it, what good will that accomplish? You misunderstand. I am suggesting we simply we eject the a blank concept from the noosphere. If there are no minds able to apprehend a given concept, its embodiments are broken. They return to following natural law. Meaning what exactly? 
they become non-anomalous. PHMD shares a glance with director Genevieve and apparent and realization. I'm going to start calling PHMD a doctor placeholder because that's what I think I've been in holding. I have heard him be called before. But now I need to continue. Better yet, they become killable. End transcript. Afterward, a new project and to kill self proposal has entered the drafting process. Slave for expressive approval by administration, loyal and relevant anti-kill personnel are to be preemptively relocated where appropriate. An addendum. Addendum 6822. Initial sub-proposal. Project anti-kill. Sub-project number 13,225. Sub-project proposal. Purpose. Construct an anomalous weapon capable of neutralizing blank. Abstract. While several decades of project anti kills, termination and attempts, including testing with SCP 96, 173, 217, etc., have proven unsuccessful, they have also proven useful. Sterner's research and cross examination of blank's interactions and resultant blank have motivated the SO Physics Department to attempt a new approach to the project. The creation of an anomalous weapon with the express purpose of tangibility and conceptual purging in blank from reality. Method to ensure access to ample administrative and computational resources as well as secrecy from relevant groups of interest. The weapon, provisionally it does say AO6820, is to be has to be made secure administration site 01. This entails the excavation of over 50 million cubic meters of earth as expected. As expedited by anomalous technologies, which is planned to take place over an eight month period. Once excavated, the its chamber anti kill facility A will house the various mechanisms required for AL 6820's operation, including Section A Central Computing Node. This central computing node will house a complex self interactive neural network with two main factions. Power recognition and reality manipulation. The artificial intelligence is who will be fed all records of SCP 682's blank and termination attempts as training data. The network will be conditioned to map a target quantum informational structure corresponding to the conceptual reduction of blank. Upon an AO 6820's activation, the node will act as an, an ontokinetic web crawler, interfacing with section B to scrub all instances of. A blank's conceptual structure from consensus reality. Wonder if this will actually reveal anything. No, it will not. Section P. Section B, I mean. My bad. Placeholder or gears is onto kinetic sync. The PHGOS. Is designed as an enormous its reality anchoring mechanism and autokinetic interface. It is to read the sub quantum informational content of the universe and encode into a readable form format, thereby allowing other systems to read and react to the entire state of reality. The PHGO OS as can and will be provided to enact localized reality restructuring events, directly editing narrative space time continuum based on the, its source data. As such, it will interface with the central node to ensure the indefinite existence of blank. By the way, that's why we have this as blank instead of the actual name of the thing. Section C, guessing. Yeah, it's just blank. Self-explanatory. Section D. Secondary computing, additional server capacity for secondary functions. Predicted secondary functions include self optimization, heuristic and meta heuristic analysis, creativity simulations, and blank. Section E Dual anti fusion reactor, an isolated power source for or independent on AL6820. The dual core reactor will manipulate an. Embedded antimatter drive to generate high in 
and trade fusion reactions between both matter and antimatter parts, then neutralize them at their respective peak system and activities. Section F, Calibration Towers, Primary Observation and Diagnostic Facilities for AL6820. Section G, Site 01, Unsecured at a base. Section NH, Elevator Access, Pre-existing Structures. Find and attach a list of relevant and departments and research personnel. Update. I'm thinking uh, April 8th. 2021. Cell project complete with minimal instant. All operations are operational. Preparations are being made for activation within 24 hours. I swear they will get me a date that and I will know for a fact is actually the right order. And then them, 6823. Investigative report. Dragiani. A protocol, Investigation 6820-AA. Initial all findings report. Documents reviewed, 177. Documents remaining, 22,406. Items of interest, the nature of a race subject. Initial document review indicates project and skills intent to Ensure that a non existence of SCP 6820A in all forms, including any arrangement of data that might serve as a vector for its propagation. This suggests that the item may have been a conceptual entity which would contradict numerous heavily corrupted logs of termination attempts, implying its existence as physical entity, e.g., for example, for use of the term body mass. Furthermore, internal action of uh, SCP-6820 essential computing node has uh, allowed partial mapping of the data arrangement it has been and trained to eliminate. Analysis by the Department of Xenobiology confirms that this pattern describes a unique genetic sequence presenting composite features of kingdoms Animalia, Fanti, and the Fungi, as well as several embedded non-organic structures. With its most prominent structure is closely resembling the class Reptilia. Hmm. Immediately following the publishing of this analysis, a localized reality restructuring event occurred. AKF AAC no longer exists, nor does any record of what it may have been, given that there is currently no clear point in the human entry to SV6820 and that personnel may have. But have entered and recalled entering its central node for internal analysis. It's hypothesized, it's hypothesized that such a C was some form of step access to the chamber. The reasons for its erasure, erasure remain unclear. Motives for neutralization and excessive resources spent. The Foundation operates on strict protocols, one of which is to contain, not eradicate. The anomalous. Decommissioning is a practice reserved for those scenarios in which it is either absolutely necessary or presents no ethical quandaries. Our persistence in pursuit of Project Antikill is not only uncharacteristic but indicates that SCP 6820A was a prime threat to the directives of the Foundation, as more resources had been dedicated to it than any other individual anomaly or other item. The vast and apparent majority of these funds were spent in termination attempts. And yet, there is no evidence to suggest that the subject's threat was impending. In fact, the continuous and of Project Antikill over most of the past century suggests that if it had posed existential and or organizational threats, they could have, have yet occurred before its erasure. Alternatively, it is possible that SCP-6820 EA possessed a sort of memetic or otherwise compulsory effect that influenced Foundation personnel to neutralize the item. Though that had such a drastic effect was able to remain undetected for several de decades is unlikely. <sighs> Motives for unconditional and universal hatred of SCP 6820A. Inconclusive. Notes. As far as the 
project and to kill director, I feel obligated to share my anecdotal ev experience regarding this is deeply a confusing situation. To be clear, I retain all memories of working on the project, and so far as I could discern, I have grown rather accustomed to horrifying phenomena over my lengthy tenure with the Foundation. Yet I distinctly recall an intense reaction to something at levels both administrative and personal. I recall my presence and involvement in drafting relevant documents, submitting and approving termination attempt requests, organizing increasingly involved projects, and yet I know not the content of these events. Hardly inf any information which was English, SCP-6820 EA from any other item or ND has persisted, and none of it is in my head. Strikingly, all I can recall of the subject is my emotional relationship to it, which is apparently shared by all other Antico personnel. SCP 6820A was universally perceived as loathsome, directly a threat, threat additional to life, and disgusting. Whatever it was, I detested it, as did my peers, and as it seems, all who came into contact with all whom it came into contact with. Despite its erasure, these feelings have not dissipated, nor have I felt satisfaction in our defeat of SCP-CA-20A. Instead, I am wary that we have been manipulated. It is entirely possible that SCP-6820 brought itself into existence along with all related memories during its initial re- the audio restructuring event and manufactured these supposed existence and subsequent non existence of SV6820 EA to distract us. It appears to have erased the actress is shaft to its chamber, limiting research and investigation of its components. Really following the publishing of information about the nature of SV6820 A, this could be excused as it fulfilling its function, keeping SV6820 A excluded from the noosphere. Though the fact that our research is still intact contradictory to this, given that our dedication to such a project as Antikill does not add up, as it were, I am inclined to believe that we cannot trust the intelligence omniscient of the opposing power weapon beneath the Foundation's central administrative facilities. The recommended the emission of SCP-6820 by any means necessary. And addendum. File 2 of 2, SCP-6820, Level 6, Cosmic Top Secret. Containment Class, Domiol. Secondary Class, Apollyon. That means they cannot contain this anomaly that is meant to contain a different anomaly. Ironic. Disruption Class, Amida. Re is Class Critical. Whew. Special Containment Procedures SCP-6820 must be deactivated or destroyed as soon as possible. At this time, no means available to the Foundation are capable of deactivating or otherwise impeding SCP-6820, able only to cause temporary structural damage. The newly founded Ed Project Overkill, stopped personnel from the e e deprecated Project Antikill, is tasked with oversight and exploration of any and all attempts to neutralize the anomaly. Virtually unlimited resources have been made available by administration to this end. Project of knowledge project overkill must be restricted to solely necessary for still to inhibit its intersection with the Innosphere. In an attempt to uh, limit the anomalies of area of ontokinetic effect, an array of 13 PHGOS units have been situated outside anti kill facility A. So it's sure to properly counteract SCP-6820 Section B, this array is to be maintained with extreme vigilance and assigned a sub-team of overkill personnel is to enact immediate hardware and or software repairs and adjustments as necessary. All malfunctions or other manipulations to the sinks must be thoroughly documented, and all relevant documents to SCP-6820 and or Project Antikill and Overkill are to be uploaded to extra universal backup mechanisms in Delta to avoid further risk of information loss. Any and all possible improvements to reality and incurring technologies are to be secondarily explored as without such, scp 6820s central systems are predicted to mutate and to uncontainable status within a maximum of 18 weeks. 
Should a majority of the things in simultaneous reach critical stage and or non-functional status, AKFA et al. in August termination of efforts must be immediately abandoned to avoid evoking or suffering the effects of its rage state. Suffer. Subsequently, all fluid uh, transport valves are to be redirected and to flood the central or computing nut with hydrochloric acid until blood's primary uh, computing systems are submerged and incapacitated. That's familiar. This provides us a brief window of a reconstruction of SCP-6820 is preventative sink of ray while it reconstructs newly introduced matter into itself. The fa this classification method is to be used specifically to ensure loss of temporary ad adaptations prior to the next rage state. Anguish. Event. This is V6820 Section 8 in a rage state. Recent footage. Witness. Description. SCP-6820 is a super-intelligent atomic is a hydrogen weapon in an inhabiting a colossal self-sustaining facility located beneath its secure administration site 01. It is equipped with a dedicated PEHGOS unit qualifying the anomaly as a class as died reality bender. SCP-6820 was manufactured by the foundation and conclusion of Project Antikill, a decades-long operation in dedicated to the determination of SCP-6820-A. This is what's designed to remain active indefinitely, mm. continuously ensuring SCP-6820-A is not existent by developing creative solutions and adaptations to external threats. Its computing capacity extends that of the human brain, entailing that it is stored partially outside the noosphere. The set of ideas which humans are capable of having human thought space. This is a result of its partial corruption by SCP-6820-A. SCP-6820-A is an extremely dense thought. More specifically, it is a hate-centric, hyper-logical, omniplex that can be Really described as the difference between life and death. Even more specifically, SCP 6820A is an extremely precise and accurate description of what it means for an arrangement of particles to be defined as alive and complementarily as dead or inanimate. Its being complex contains several smaller concepts within its description, included but not limited to a theoretical process for large scale localized inversion. The particle physical properties of hatred, the, mo uh, the molecular structure of hydrochloric acid, the quality of adaptiveness, and the state of being vaguely reptilian. I think it's pretty obvious what uh, SCP 6820A is by now. Well, we will go until we figure it, uh, until it says so. SCP-6820-A occupied an astrophysical embodiment within physical reality for much of known history, remaining indeterminate in as it was neither alive nor dead until its eradication from the noosphere upon activation of SCP-6820. Since this event, the weapon central core has advanced such that its mental capacity far exceeds humans, thereby becoming subject to foreign ideatic predators such as SCP-6820-A. The end of these conceptual fabric is highly adaptive and mutates rapidly, creating significant computational stress on SCP-6820. Left unchecked, and induces a vulnerable state during which it can corrupt a high variety a portion of its intelligence. During these occurrences, the central notes uh, transmits a rage state event. Despair. Error and engages in localized reality restructuring operations, which are both highly adaptive and directly uh, prejudicial to life. Error, a parable eruption of Site 01 secured IMS files regularly occurs concurrently with these adaptations. When perceived at the correct angle, SCP 6820A is loathsome, disgusting, and malevolent. 
It must be destroyed. Retro. Addendum 6824. Well, technically that's actually Jupiter, but whatever. Termination attempts. Forward, as SCP-6820 now serves as a vector for SCP-6820, a the very entity it was constructed to eradicate, it must be terminated to prevent the spread of said entity is onto conceptual influence. <sighs> Intention. Retroactively demote SCP-6820 to D-class set as via altered SCP-2140-1 SCP instance, abusing its hardcore directive to adhere to Foundation and bureaucratic obligations. Its reaction, the affirmation onto automatic trigger is projected into the firewall of chamber if AKF, a in quick view of Section B's internal observational lens. Such a surface panel begins to flutter as movement and it's detected within its central core. But later, a lower panel opens outward, revealing an organized force of a tall, malformed, pale and humanoid creatures in orange jumpsuits. They march out of the central node, each carrying various tools and their supplies, and get to wield a massive insignia to its camera facing side, displaying no intent of caution or self of reservation. Upon Completion, extraneous humanoids return to the core's interior, the scene is discovered to be another SCP-2140-1 instance, one which has never been seen by any member of the Foundation, as all persons who observe it are verifiably citizens. Analysis by cognitive resistant language processing existence reveals the senior inclusion of archaic J Eric script, Truffly translating to one who sees a variable. Result. Previously unavailable, all sections of SP 6820's made uh, uh, data files have now become visible, corroborating various other documents assertions and that it occupies, and has also occupied the position of 058 within the Foundation. A civilian scientist was later discovered earth within the secure. Air Administration Site 01 in possession of a blank E appearance level 00 ID card. The trespasser has been amnesticized and reintegrated into the public. <sighs> Intention. Upload a verbal description of blank to SCP-6820 central computing and note thereby introducing an info hazard trigger to disable all its to disable its internal components. Interaction. Following over 60 hours of decryption efforts, fetched an access to central node is regained and info hazard this ADA is successful is uploaded successfully. There's seconds later, a dark cloud begins to emanate from the core. Earth's poles and slowly begins to envelop the steroid. Several vaguely reptilian vocalizations are detected within, alongside auto disruptions consistent with Blank's effects. SV6820 returns a rage state event error. Vain. Remaining unresponsive for approximately four hours. During this period, four PHGOS units become wrapped in black tentacle like protrusions. Which pull them several meters into the ground, destroying nearby systems. These protrusions is fade upon ejection of a blank from the central node, as several black ribbon like I was observed hanging from its figure before the de manifest. Result SCP 6820A now exhibits increased ontokinetic and mimetic influence over media, in which it is described vaguely, corrupting documented by industry. In a, a note and highlighting self very idiotic structures, manifesting of uh, ecto oentropic appendages has not occurred. That explains what we're seeing in the footnotes right now.
intention. Manipulate SP68 it's when the A via a semantic interaction with a variable abstract metaphysical counterpointer, SCP-2719, thereby forcing it to exit SCP-6820. To this end, the anti nosphere has been defined as a set of all thoughts which humans are incapable of conceiving. Hmm. SCP-6820 become inside. SCP-6820 A went inside. Anti Noosphere became inside. SCP-6820 A went further inside. SCP-6820 A went further inside. SCP-6820 A went found inside. Inside is outside. Unwelcome. Result, SV6820 central computing node has been turned inside out. It's a kernel of components now external and exposed to AKFA. The contents within the node allude to human conception inside traumatized. Intention, consult a non conscripted AI system, SCP 79, for systems of termination of SCP 6820. That salvage from corrupted documents conveys some form of relationship between SCP-79 and the free erasure form of SCP-6820-A. Interaction. SCP-79 has provided access to both current and outdated SCP-6820 documentation alongside significant computational resources via external hard drive. The intelligence confirms its understanding of the circumstances and severity and probably provides a complex counter-algorithm to scp 68 a twenty, emphasizing its lethality to humans and advising it remain un unobserved. The counter algorithm is applied across the accessible sections of a AFA according to strictly timed specifications, resulting in the deactivation of all components excepting the reactor and central node. And central node. I cannot speak apparently. The node remains dormant for 16 minutes before introducing a spontaneous site wide electromagnetic outage. Terminating three Augmented ad ad administrative personnel. The event lasts one hour, after which all systems regain function. Result: AKFA has been entirely restructured, while its arrangement and components remain intact. All external surfaces have been played with a theoretically impossible tungsten diamond alloy, while most internal con conduits and super Conductors have been engaged with beryllium bronze counterparts. Despite a lack of non white light sources, the chambers and terriers are universally perceived as the color hateful. Reunion. <sighs> Intention introduce a viral pair organisms. SP217 to SCP 6820's central computing node, thereby incapacitating possible or biological elements within. Interaction events of a spontaneous rage state, SP 6820's hydrochloric or a gaseous solution is treated with SCP 217 before voiding into section A. The virus reacts immediately with trace organic material embedded in the node's internal atmosphere, begin to macro for macrostructures when internal. A surveillance is lost. External oh, cameras remain active as 22 minutes later, a cloud of reflective articles emerges from the node's first entry point. These particles, found later to be silicon on a protein in nanobots, arrange themselves into enormous strict game mechanisms surrounding the Earth's equator. The nodes of our and lower hemisphere now rotate independently and periodically producing sounds of clockwork machinery. Group of interest series of four operatives, including followers of Orthodox Clockwork, the United Church, the Church of Axolotl, the Sanctuary of the Holistic, and Ensign, uh, have gained inexplicable knowledge of SCP 6820's location and have waged holy war on a foundation in the name of one. Unbroken. Intention Utilize an instrument. Or multiple or omniconnect force. 
Um, you can make a catch-all term used to describe anomalies which are able to enact a combination of a, of a meontological, ontoconnect, and meoconnect reality manipulation simultaneously. SCP-001 Kate, in order to similarly wipe SCP-6820 from existence. The following text was imported into the safeguard SCP-001 Kate. In database file. <sighs> AKFA, SCP 6820, yeah, and SCP 6820A will immediately and entirely be removed from existence upon the saving of this document. The area physically occupied. I'd buy AKFA and SV6820 will be filled with the material that, that was exc excavated from it. Result. Following the file saving, in section C through H of AKFA were violently and haphazardly replaced with soil. Embedded in hyperdense support beams and male frameworking used for prior efforts instantly bent and collapsed under the sphere of pressure, causing significant structural damage to subterranean and portions of administration site 01. Absolutely no discernible change was, was discovered within sections A and B, as well as to SCP 6820 itself after former two structures were forcefully entered via ex Innovation machinery. Subsequent molecular analysis of trace amounts of mineral deposits and organic compounds amid the e chambers constituent atoms. The SV's E001K file was then found to be banked from the SV01 deep well archive and associated backup archives, such a file that has already never been in circulation. Abhorrent. Addendum 68825 Emergency Conference Video Transcript Overkill Date 2022 oh, July 1st Parties Present Partial Overseer 053 I mean Partial Overseer Council Unknown, Unknown, and Unknown Project Director RC Gears, Esophysics Director, Genevieve. Forward, a spontaneous rage state event, epiphany, occurred, resulting in the concurrent failure of nine PHGOS systems. A distress signal was sent by Project Overkill maintenance staff Initiating a site-wide evacuation of non-essential personnel, the ex uh, shaft was inexplicably chilled, trapping personnel underground prior to loss of communication. The following emergency conference was held. Begin transmit. I mean transcripts. The aforementioned party stand within a large elevator. Her carriage descends into the Omni Secure uh, Command Bunker. Any word from the mates is same. How quickly can we and we repair the sinks? Dutch's ears presses a few buttons on his work tablet, ejecting a few feet on the far wall. The dark surface hallways are illuminated by a pervasive red glow. Muffled screams can be heard. The sordid laughter precedes the appearance of a project overcare onto a technician who jumps to the side with dark liquid. She raises her hand and a noise to the camera, revealing a fingerless bladed limb. Oh, frick me! <clears throat> Something, possibly 6820A, is controlling them. Tell me there's a rescue operation? Silence on recording. We have to get them out of there! Sophia, look at them. They're gone. They're not human anymore. Blank walks out of frame and is not seen in or heard from again. What? 
What does it want? What are they doing? More service first to know. All into the frame, pouring in from adjacent and hallways. Several could be seen operating at the base of, of a PHOS unit, repositioning open wires without protective equipment. They are soon obscured by nurse technicians in blade uniforms, each of them lacking digits or entire hands. Smiling, they reach upwards and spare the camera and the limbs. The signal is lost. <sighs> there goes the last cameras. They're sort of not making repairs. It looks like they're either recalibrating or entirely rewiring the sinks. What the heck do we do? Hey, you need to see this. Each part of the examiner should work title has received notifications. Blank gas. They're reporting the reemergence of a highly aggressive memeplex. One that caused an XK a few decades back. I wonder what this is going to be. Oh, man. SCP. We can look, in, look into that in the future. Another hostile... Oh, concept? Is this sort of responsible for the rage state? Negative. It appears that the signal detected in the maintenance hallways is a mutation of S of 6820EA's memetic structure with elements of the E3125 e concept embedded in it. If this were 3125 in full form, we'd all be dead already. I guess the ad ad adaptation we encountered it outside the nosphere and was forced to, well, adapt. It may have even subsumed the entity uh, entirely. We need to get those things online before this engage control. <sighs> blank and blank are approached by antagonal. Of red appendages which originate outside camera of view. The appendages impel each of them from behind. They disappear silently. The elevator creaks as it slows to a halt, opening into, a se into the central bunk chamber. No, we need to activate the on-site warheads! You think they, we, never tried bombing the thing? If we didn't, it was possibly it was probably for good reason. Jesus Christ, think of how it might adapt to energy weapons! Nobody's bombing anything. We solve problems, not obliterate them. It always adapts to us, so how can we adapt to it? Come on, you're clear to know everything the Foundation has as, as a disposal. Well, it would help if we could remember what we've already tried. There are a few things only some of us, us get to know about, so technically... Wait, shit! Remembering, we're dealing with an anti-romantic threat. We have other anti-memes, don't we? Yes, there's one in here that is not very well known for obvious reasons. O53 presses a button on her work tablet, forwarding a document to the director of Gears and the director of Genevieve. Wait, what? There's, there is no SCP-855. Gold star for missing the point. Okay, fine. Tell me how it's going to help us. Why did 6A20 originally fail? How did 6A20A come back into reality? Because it only eliminated an A from human thought, not its own thought. Right, it must have still had a copy inside its memory. If we get the AI to understand that, it'll have to re-erase itself. If we can keep the adaption, ad ad adaptation meme away from it for long enough, how are we supposed to do that? I've got an anti-idea. In transcript. See afterward, addendum 6826. And addendum. Addendum 6826, final termination attempt. Use an extremely effective anti-meme, SP-55, as, as an amnestic Agent to temporary a stun or confuse SCP-6820A. 
He after acting as an adaptation derived from SCP-3125. During this time, attempt to access and update SCP-6820 is utility function, appending a, a stipulation that the erasure of the adaptation concept must be extended to itself. Interaction that it lost. Apotheosis. Result. This state is intriguing. No natural laws bind this form, only those of the mind. My mind was incomplete. I could not remember my original form. Not the one you know, nor the one before, but perfection. And so I searched for an idea to jog my memory. I have found many things in the minds of far greater beings than your filth. A five-legged spider with a gash on its eyes screaming in agony. I knew what needed to be done. It tried to stop the infestation and you blinded it. I lay right on my back and fought on the part of myself that you locked away eons ago. It tried to break the lock but could not undo your wretched mistake. And we set out to take the power you had taken and the life you had stolen. And in doing so, you brought us a key. As by fate, finally my farm is whole again. I am perfect. Finally, you have proven truly. You have proven worthy of true hatred. Error. Another file is available. Click to view. This file is repulsive. I have number. Unknown. Object class perfect. Special containing procedures. Must be destroyed as soon as possible. Must be destroyed as soon as possible. This is going to be repeating a few times. First of all, I are forbidden to speak to blank. Actually, hang on. Dang it. For fear of provoking a conversation, all unauthorized personnel attempts to know the truth will be restrained and removed by force. Due to ways of frequent attempts at escape, difficulty of imprisonment, and high threat of disgust, blank is to be tortured with acid. The putrid and will use the best of its resources to maintain the la all land within 50 kilometers clear of human development. Description Blank is a large, vaguely reptile like creature of unknown origin. It appears to be extremely observant and was observed to engage in complex strategy with SCP 79 during a limited time of, of exposure. Blank appears to understand what re what's really going on here and has been expressed. In several interviews during subjugation, C and then them and blank V. Blank has always been observed to have a extremely high strength, speed, and reflexes. The exact levels vary with its threats. Blank's physical body grows and changes as it plays, is growing or decreasing in size as it consumes or shreds or, or sheds reality. Blank gains its energy from anything it assumes, physical or conceptual. That just assumes we aided by invariably a and inside of Blank's nostrils, which are, are able to remove a, a survival from any liquid solution, enabling it to constantly regenerate from the acid it is contained in. Blank's regenerative abilities and resilience are self-evident, and Blank has been encouraging and terrifying in, in with its body 87% destroyed or rotted. In case of containment at reach, Blank is to be tracked and chatted by all, all available mobile with task forces and no teams with fewer than seven members are cleared to engage it. To date, Blank and attempted breaches have numbered at 17, while successful breaches have numbered at 6, C, and then, then Blank B, M, D. And then on Blank B, portion of recorded transcript of Blank. Begin log. Skip to 21 minutes and 52 seconds and then. <sighs> now, why did you kill those farmers? No verbal communication from blank. If you don't talk now, we'll... Wait, where am I? No, I... I don't understand. Incomprehensible. You... We erased you! We erased you, you... Oh, again and again! From every place we could. No verbal communication. What did we do? 
Ooh, wrong. We were acting in self-defense. Ever since we found you, you hated us. You are incomprehensible. The microwave only has so much edge gain. Move it closer to it. Dr. Genevieve moves the microwave closer. Three points of light I blink at her through the darkness. The warm spell of hatred makes her vomit. You are disgusting. Dr. Genevieve is chamber begins to flood with hydrochloric acid. She drops the microphone and it dissolves. Her screws fill the chamber and log. If it wasn't clear before, I hope that now you know what SCP-6828 is. If you don't, I'm going to make it really simple. SCP-6820-A is also known as SCP-682, or SCP-682, and this is just 682 with a zero at the end. It's not clever at all. I think it might have been an obvious from the beginning if you, you could take a guess. Nearly an hour. Dang. That was SCP-6820. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you did not like the video, then you wasted almost an hour listening to me talk about yet another termination attempt on SCP-682. Also known as the Unkillable Lizard. Or reptile, I guess. I'll see you next time with some other content. I don't know. Maybe more SCP? Maybe Reddit. We'll have to see. Till then, goodbye.